<laughs> it's so crazy. I was like nine years old. I brought a knife to school. Cause feel me, some some kids said they was gonna jump me and shit. Uh huh. And I brought a knife to school when I got caught. Wow. And my auntie and uh, yeah. How'd man. you get caught? Because I pulled it out. Yeah. That'll usually get you. <laughs> <laughs> That's like every kid that get fucked up though. You bring something cool to school, you're trying to do something, oh, yeah. you, you show one too many people. Try That's to, how you yeah, always try, get yeah, caught yeah, up. Sure. Yeah, it takes a while for you to learn that you got to keep all your crimes to yourself. Although, that's not really what being a rapper is all about these days either. Yeah, no. <laughs> For real. So you got caught with a knife at nine? Yeah. Okay. And was that like serious punishment or was it some fucking around shit? No, I got my ass beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But nothing nothing too crazy? No, not too crazy, no. Okay. You graduated high school? No, hell no. What grade did you make it to? Um, I actually made it to the 12th grade. Really? I failed the eleventh grade and then I did night school. Like 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 in the um like you feel me? Like I, I, I didn't go to regular school because I, I always got expelled. Uh-huh. So it was like I was doing the night school and shit. And they I failed the eleventh grade, but then I got bumped up. So when I went to the twelfth grade, I was actually the the school year had just started. The school year started in like August and shit. I probably dropped out in like October, the end of October, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. So I was in school for like two months. But some shit had happened where my friend had, he killed himself and shit. And then, but I was right there and shit. So. You were there? Yeah, I was standing right, literally right next to him, like this far away. He killed himself where? At school? No, he, we was in, um, in this nigga apartment and shit that we used to be at. Shit, we was in the building and shit. We just geeked up playing around. So he just always used to play with guns and shit like that. Oh, so he killed himself but, by accident? Yeah, he killed it just playing with the gun. Holy shit. Yeah, he was, he was, uh. It's so crazy because he had a, uh, it was like a 38, uh-huh. but it was like, like you feel me? Well, we was on, on some young nigga shit though. Like you know, a nigga had hella guns and shit though. But that specific one was like that bitch work when it want to type shit. Right. It was one of them guns that like the firing pin was fucked up on it. Oh god. So it's like, nigga, oh you can squeeze that bitch a million times and that bitch won't go off. But then you feel me? It just so happened that one time, like he was playing with that bitch all day, right. like dead ass, just bang. Bang, just playing with that bitch. And then it's just the one time he decided to put that bitch to his head, that bitch went off. Like, and you saw this? I was standing right next to him. And what do you do? What do I do? Like, how do you react? Do you just call the fucking ambulance right away? The or? shit, when, 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 when the shit actually happened and shit, well, um, as soon as he shot himself and shit, I looked over. I just seen all the, the big pink hole in his head and shit, though. And I seen his brains and shit was like on his, on his shoulder and shit like that. I was like, oh, I'm like, man, what the fuck? So mind you, I had a, my girlfriend at the time was in there. I had a couple couple niggas that I was fucking with and shit. And then his bitch was in there too. Uh-huh. So mind you, like when the shit happened, nobody was really paying attention. So so it caught everybody by surprise. So when the shit happened, I'm like, damn, mind you, I got all these guns. I got like two guns on me too. So I'm like, damn. I actually stayed in the apartment buildings across the street. Uh-huh. So when this shit happened, I tell his girlfriend, like, make sure he cool and shit. I got to go hurry up and go put this shit away. But you knew he was the, dead right away? No, you know, it, it was, was point just, blank range. It was one of them situations, like, you know what's going on. Like, right. Like, it, boom, right on the temple. Like, so it was like, I'm like, damn. I knew I knew it was over with. Cause it was like, it ain't no making it. It ain't like he accidentally shot himself in the arm. Or, right. Or anywhere else, he dead ass on his brain, like his brains on his shirt. Like I knew it was over with. So Jesus. I tell her like, man, make sure he cool. Like shit, everybody trying to figure. Out, I already gotta put these guns up because I know the police about to come and shit. So boom, I try to hurry up. I go put the guns up. So by the time I come back downstairs, I'm about to try to go back and see what's going on. It's already the police already swarming and shit. So. I see all the police coming and shit. I go back upstairs. I, I walk in the house. My mama in there bitching about some whole other shit. Right. You're like, I don't even, I, I ain't take out the trash or some shit. Like, I got some was, real shit on my mind right now. You don't now, even mom. know what's going on. I walk in the house. She yelling at me about some whole other shit. Right. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? It's too much going on right now, lady. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy as hell. She, so boom. She yelling at me and shit, da, da, da. So I go take out the trash. So, but I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, should I hide my guns? Like, should I throw it? Like, I was thinking, like, should I 
when I go to the dumpster, I'm like, damn, should I go hide my shit outside? Should I just leave it in here? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Normally, well, I used to always, always keep my gun under my mattress. But this particular time, I'm like, uh, I just put it under, like, in my closet, in the top of the closet where my clothes is at. I put it up under there. Uh huh. So I go downstairs. I take the trash out. Mind you, I, already, I see the police and shit. They swarming all over there. I'm like, damn. I can see them across the street and shit. So when I go downstairs, I take the trash out. I come back upstairs. As soon as I walk in the door, I walk in my room. All my clothes is on the floor. Uh. So my mama then went in my room. So I don't know if she was sitting there listening to me, like rumbling through the closet or something, like I was up to something. I don't know if she, I don't know what made her go in there and tear my room up. And you're how old, like 16? I was 17. Okay. I think I was 17. Or was I 18? But she would uh, not have known that you would have had a gun at the time. No, she ain't she ain't know I had a she ain't know I had a gun though. Right. But but she always that was like the fourth time she done found my guns though. Mm, like okay. that was like the fourth time that shit happened. At seventeen, that's rough. So that's a lot so, of guns. <laughs> <laughs> so so motherfucking uh I come back in, all my clothes on the floor. I'm like, man, what the fuck? She like, get the fuck out of my house. I tell you about bringing these goddamn guns in here. Uh. But it just, she still not knowing what's really going on. I'm like, damn. So I, I got my girlfriend with me at the time. My mama didn't kick her out. Tell her, hey, call your mama. She got to come get you. Uh. Kick her out. So she tried to kick me out. I'm like, man, you know what? I know the police about to come knocking on my door at any given moment anyway, though. Like, mm-hmm. I already knew they was about to come for me. So I I was happy to actually leave. And, like, oh, I'm like, shit, because I'd rather go downstairs and wait in the lobby and waiting on them. They feel me? So they can come get me from here instead of knocking on the door. They didn't think you shot them, though, right? Yeah, they did. They did. So, oh, fuck. So when, when I went downstairs and shit, literally I was sitting in the lobby for, like, five minutes, and I seen the police walking through the door. And they was like, I'm like, uh, <clears throat> what'd he say? He said, son, he like, uh, is you Cottrell? I'm like, yeah, y'all looking for me. I already knew that y'all was about to come get me. Like, they already grabbed everybody else that was, you feel me? So my another one of the person that was there, he was, he stayed in my building too. He stayed on the first floor. So even when I when I first went downstairs in the lobby, I knocked on the door, and his dad told me like, "Police already grabbed him." Uh-huh. So I'm like, yeah, "They really gotta come get me." So, boom, they walk in the door. And they like, "Is you Cottrell?" Like, That's crazy. Yes, I am. Uh-huh. So, they lock me up. I sit in jail for 72 hours. You know they do the the, uh, the three day investigation and shit. You know when you under murder uh-huh. and shit. So. So they was investigating me for the murder and shit. But um they ended up having to let me go. So when they let me go, I actually had to go to school like the next day. So when I went to school, I walk in the building. As soon as I come through the hallway, everything just quiet. It's weird as fuck. I'm like, man, all right, man, y'all in this bitch acting funny as hell. Like. Mm. You tell everybody looking at me like, oh. like they thought you did it too. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so everybody looking at me crazy, like. So <clears throat> I go in a class. I go in my first class. My teacher come up to me. You know, she passing out the assignments and shit. She come up to me and she say some weird shit to me, like, "Yeah, I heard what happened." Da, 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 da. Fucking demon. You be careful. She said some. We- I'm like, you know what? Uh uh-uh. uh, I ain't about to deal with this shit. Right. So, now I go home, I tell my mama off the rip, I say, Ma, I don't want to go to school no more. Mm. Like, I can't, I ain't about to deal with that. She like, shit, just promise me you're going to get your GED. So she like helped me, she let me drop out. Right. So I dropped out, and then I I didn't get my GED until I went to prison. I ended up going to prison like, a what? year or two later. Oh, so you went to prison when you were like <clears throat> 19, 20? Yeah, I went to prison when I was 19, yeah. Okay. So do you think... So matter of that- fact, matter of fact, 
I was 18 mm -hmm. when that shit happened. I was 18. That was October. That was like October 2012. Then I went to jail in February. I went to jail in February for a warrant that I had for the guns that, because the police went to my house too. Like when they when they came and got me, they came and got me, but then they still went upstairs and went to the house. Mm -hmm. So, but it's so crazy. My mama had just found my guns. So when they went and knocked on the door, she already knew what the fuck they was coming to get. Mm. So, so she hid it for you? No, nah, she gave it to him. Oh, fuck. Cause I had two guns though. She only gave him one of them. Uh. She only gave him one of them. So, but I had two guns. I had two guns, and I had like I used to have like this little book bag and shit. I used to have like my gloves on there. I had like my ski mask, Robin bandana, kid, yeah. and, and like bullets and like extended clips and shit like that. Oh, I just boy. had weird shit in the bag. Like, yeah. So <laughs> she ain't give them the whole bag though. But when they came, she just gave them a gun. Uh -huh. So when she gave them the gun. They end up, you feel me? They try to do ballistics on the shit and da 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 da. That's boom. how. You, that's so, why they didn't charge you with so, it. So yeah. yeah. So boom. When fucking um. When I I uh, when I, I had a warrant. When I went to jail in February, I had a warrant for that gun. My because I didn't have a case for that. Like when they found it, they wouldn't think about like trying to get his nigga a gun case. Right. And they was busy trying to figure out this murder. So. They end up like when they couldn't do when they couldn't pin that shit on me. They just like, all right, we're gonna hit you with this gun case, but you couldn't hit me with the gun case because it was like it wasn't a CCW. I wasn't carrying a concealed weapon because you didn't catch me right. carrying it's no in gun. The crib, yeah. It was in the house, so they just hit me with a receiving stolen property. Uh -huh. So I uh, I was chilling in my parking lot and shit though. I was chilling in the parking lot. Matter of fact. <clears throat> You gonna pull a gun out? No. I was no. chilling in my parking lot. <laughs> I was shit. about to pull a hammer out on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't gonna up on you. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna show me something. Boom, Desert Eagle on the table. All right. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna put it on the table. Put okay. that bitch on me, though. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dope boy. What a legend. <laughs> but, 